we are required to find the value of tan of 2 alpha which can be expressed as tan of alpha plus beta plus alpha minus beta. This is equal to tan of alpha plus beta plus tan of alpha minus beta divided by 1 minus tan of alpha plus beta times tan of alpha minus beta. Now we are given that cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 4 upon 5. Consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is alpha plus beta. Since cos of alpha plus beta is equal to 4 upon 5, therefore the base is 4, the hypotenuse is 5, and so using Pythagoras theorem, the perpendicular is equal to root of 25 minus 16, which is 3. Therefore, for this triangle, tan of alpha plus beta is equal to 3 upon 4. We are also given that sine of alpha minus beta is equal to 5 upon 13. Again, consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is alpha minus beta. Since sine alpha minus beta is equal to 5 upon 13, therefore the perpendicular is 5, the hypotenuse is 13. And so using Pythagoras theorem, the base is equal to root of 13 square minus 5 square, which is equal to root of 169 minus 25, which is equal to 12. Therefore, for this triangle, tan of alpha minus beta is equal to 5 upon 12. Going back to the expression for tan 2 alpha derived above and substituting the above results, we get tan 2 alpha is equal to 3 upon 4 plus 5 upon 12 divided by 1 minus 3 upon 4 times 5 upon 12. This is equal to 9 plus 5 upon 12 in the numerator and 1 minus 15 upon 48 in the denominator. This is equal to 14 times 4 upon 48 in the numerator divided by 33 upon 48 in the denominator. Therefore, tan of 2 alpha is equal to 56 upon 33, which is the required answer.